Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer money from MetaMask to bank account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to access our MetaMask account. So at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click on the MetaMask extension here. And from here, we have the following options. So we have the buy and sell option and the send option here. So the first method that I'll be showing you is via MetaMask themselves. In this case, go ahead and click on the buy and sell option here. And from here, this should actually open up the portfolio page for your MetaMask account. In this case, choose the sell at the left panel here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate uh, section here. Now, by the way, if you haven't connected your wallet yet, just click on connect wallet at the top right here and just proceed with the connection. Now, the only downside with using this option here in MetaMask is sometimes your country where you're currently located might not be available. So meaning uh, you might need you might not have access to the specific settings that I'm currently showing it to you. In this case, some countries does not have or does, still does not have access to this. In this case, what do we need to do? Bef uh, how, can, how, how can we actually transfer uh, our, meta our crypto into our bank account without using the uh, MetaMask option here? Now, by the way, if you're wondering how to proceed, if you do have access on this one. So in this case, you just need to indicate the amount that you want to sell here. And from here, you need to provide your debit or credit here and choose the appropriate one here. Like for example, we have Transact here, MoonPay or even PayPal here. In this case, once you've entered your entire details here, so just click or uh, choose the appropriate option here. And once you've done that, just follow the steps that they'll be showing you to basically cash out or sell your crypto. In this case, once you've done that, we are now good. In this case, how do we do the other alternative way? Well, the alternative way is we need to use a different platform, which in this case is going to be Binance. Now, first things first, you need to create your Binance account here, verify your account. But once you've done the all of those steps here, we are now ready to basically start depositing it, depositing it and basically uh, cashing out. In this case, just click on the deposit button at the top right of your screen. And from here, click on Deposit Crypto. Now from here, maybe I want to say I want to transfer my ETH here to CTH. From here, you need to select your network. So I would suggest you use the Ethereum or ERC20 here. So just go ahead and choose that. And from here, it's going to actually give you your address as well as the QR code for your account. In this case, go ahead and copy your address here and just go back into your MetaMask. And under MetaMask, what we need to do is we need to choose the Send option. Now from here, you need to paste your address here and it should actually detect the ETH here. And make sure that you actually set up your address or your network here. So in this case, since we are using ERC20, the Ethereum mainnet here should work. Now, if you don't have or you didn't set your network properly here, you might risk on losing your fund. So make sure your network here is actually correct as well as your address. Now, once you provide that and the amount you want to set, just click on next here and make sure that you have enough for the gas fees here. So sometimes gas fees can be really high. So make sure you take note of that. In this case, once you're good, just click on next here. And once you've done that, this should actually uh, send that into your Binance account. Now, once the funds has been transferred to your Binance account, we need to convert this to USDT. Now, at the top left here, choose the trade option. And from here, choose the spot option. Now, by default, any funds that you transfer should be redirected to your spot wallet. And once in here, we need to change this. So for example, since we have ETH, I want to type in ETH here and use USDT. Now, once you have USDT here, what we need to do next is we need to scroll down a bit. And from here, go to the sell option here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to uh, basically uh, sell our ETH. So go ahead and indicate the amount of ETH you want to sell, as well as make sure that you indicate the price where your ETH would be sold. Now, in this case, uh, the current price for it right now is, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be 3,389.63 cents. But this changes uh, frequently, so make sure that you are actually with that, with that range. As, as you can see, it's now on 3,390 uh, 3, or 91 here. That's the range right now. So in this case, just indicate the amount here. Choose uh, indicate the amount for the ETH you want to sell. And from here, just click on sell ETH and it's going to add that order 
in your account here and once it's actually sold it, the order here should disappear now once you've done that we are now ready to transfer this and basically uh cashing it out in this case go to your wallet at the top right here from here you want to go to the section for spot and under spot you need to look for the option here that says eth now in this case go and click on the three dotted icon next to eth here and click on the transfer option now from here, make sure that the from is fiat and spot here and the two section is actually selected into the funding option. Now once you've done that, make sure that ETH is selected here or uh, sorry, make sure that you selected USDT since we actually uh, converted it already into our uh, USDT account. So in this case, look for USDT here and make sure to transfer that. Click on transfer and once you've done that, Again, make sure you have USDT here. And once you've converted or once you've transferred that and entered the amount you want to sell, just click on the confirm option here. And that should actually transfer that into your wallet or into your funding wallet. Now in this case, at the left panel here, you could go to the funding section here and just monitor if you've received your funding uh, balance here. As you can see, I have a small amount here. But in this case, once you have it in here, just make sure that you have it. Go to the top left here, go to trade again, and you want to choose the option that says P2P. Now under P2P, what we need to do is we need to click on the sell option here. And from here, you want to choose the payment appropriate payment method. In this case, go to the all payment section here and choose your bank. In this case, once you've chosen your bank, choose the an advertiser here that you want to use. So there's going to be some limitation on this, like for example, a minimum value that you need to sell for them to actually buy from you. Now, in this case, once you've entered or once you've chosen a register, just click on sell USDT here. And from here, just indicate uh, the amount that you want to sell uh, or the amount that you want to receive. Also, choose your payment method here. So go ahead and choose whatever payment method you have here that you want. And once you've done that, just click on sell USDT here and it should open up a new window. In this case, it's going to open up a chat room, which in this case, you need to provide some account details, like for example, your account number. In this case, do not provide any other unnecessary details. So just provide your account number and all the details that is necessary for you for to, for them to actually proceed with the transfer itself. In this case, just communicate with them. And once the transaction is complete and once you've released the uh, transaction, you should be able to receive your funds in your bank account. But in this case, that's how you transfer your money from MetaMask to bank account. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.